right, so this poem is um, Do Not Go Gentle Into That Good Night by Dylan Thomas. That good night, does anyone know what that is? What is that good night in the poem? What's he talking about? Friday. Hmm? A party. Not before. No. The one night that. No, it is. I really thought some of y'all knew this already, but it is death. Oh, what? Oh, that what? good night is death. Okay. Why? Why? He, so you, you what? What? I thought you said. It's a dark turn. So fast. So he he gives a lot of imagery in this poem, a lot of contrasting images. Um, gentle contrasts with rage. Um, but the whole thing, uh, night contrasts with day. The whole thing basically um, is a metaphor where the daytime is a metaphor for life. And then nighttime is a metaphor for death. Yes, Kane? Good job. Good. So um, when he says, do not go gentle into that good night, old age should burn and rave at closing of day, rage, rage against the dying of the light. Okay, so the dying of the light is death. Um, and this first stanza basically just introduces the topic that he's talking about. So then in the next several stanzas, he looks at different types of men or different types of people. So in the first one, he's talking about wise men. And then the next stanza, good men. Then wild men. Then grave men, which are dying men. And then... The final stanza is specifically about his father. So in this stanza about wise men, he says, the wise men at their end know dark is right because their words had forked no lightning. That is a reference, we call it an allusion, to mythology. Basically, he's saying wise men know that they're mortal they know that they're not gods and that they're going to die so when he says the wise men at their end know dark is right they know that at the end of their life they will have to die even so they do not go gentle into that good night they don't just let it happen they fight against and then he talks about good men. Good men, the last wave by, crying how bright their frail deeds might have danced in a green bay. So here, good men, they're enjoying um, kind of the, the memory or the legacy of their good deeds. So they have no regrets. Okay, they have no regrets, and yet they still rage, rage against the dying of the light. They don't want to die either. Then wild men who caught and sang the sun in flight and learned too late, they grieved it on its way. So they wasted their lives, and they figured it out too late now that their lives are about to end. And they do not go gentle into that good night. So they don't want to die either. So it's interesting, even though good men have no regrets and they lived a good life, they still don't want to die. Wild men that squandered their lives, at the end, they have the same reaction. So, good men, wild men, regardless of how they live their life, neither want to die. They both have the same reaction at the end of their life. Grave men near death who see with blinding sight, which means that everything becomes clearer when you're nearing death. You kind of see things clearly. You see your life clearly. You see the world clearly. And they, too, rage, rage against the dying of the light. So in the very last stanza, the poet 
brings it into focus, and we find out that this is all written for his father who is dying. And he begs and pleads with his father, do not go gentle into that good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. So he wants his father to fight. Because he's telling, he's saying, don't just denial. accept, maybe denial, don't just accept death. Okay. Now, if we look at these thematic ideas and then think about the giver, you can see how some of those thematic ideas overlap with the giver. Uh, death is definitely a thematic idea in The Giver, with release. Um, and fear can be a thematic idea in The Giver, with the uh, Committee of Elders basically set up the whole community out of their own fear. Out of their fear that people will make wrong decisions, or that things could go wrong if people are left to um, be in charge of their own lives. Um, definitely rage, because Jonas experiences rage against release, which is death. So Jonas is basically fighting against death in the book, because um, when he discovers that people are... literary analysis paragraph in which you would talk about how the giver talks about the thematic idea and how the poem, if you choose this poem, which you don't have to, you have choices, but, okay, then, um, okay, go ahead and stop.